sun's coming up already. Look around. The party's still going. Yeah. It is. <laughs> so what's your name? April. So what's it going to be, April? Tell me what you need. You know what I want? I'm bored. I need a little pick me up. I can take care of that. and your whole world will change. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday. <laughs> You're under arrest. Throw the bag of dope on the ground and get on the car. trying to corral a monkey on crack.
admit it, but we really could have used Radner today. Radner ain't missing us, I guarantee that. Yeah, I didn't say anything about missing him. I just think we could have used the extra help. Wow. You know, sometimes someone can say the littlest thing and end up saying so much. What's that supposed to mean? You tell me. We're all loaded up. Sarah's transporting the bodies to booking. What now, Chief? Look, just squeeze your informants and see if you can find out where any more stash bands are. Elijah, you got a second? What's up, man? Something wrong? No, not at all. Look, I know you temporarily lost Radner. I think I can help you out with that. Turns out I can spare someone to bring your team back up to full speed. You're kidding me, right? Look, here's the deal. Gates is the mayor's nephew. I need the mayor off my back for the next few weeks, and this will help me do Man, that. Man, I don't really like to get involved in departmental politics. It'd be really nice if you'd keep me out of it. Well, I know that, which is why I shield you for most of it. So I'd appreciate it if you could do this for me. Man, it seems like I don't really have a choice. Thank you. All right, your team's on deck. There's been a fatality at a rave club on the east side. Might take one of your team members and Gates to handle it. All right. You're up. OK, Gates here is going to be working with us. It's going to be a kind of a temporary deal just until Radnick gets back. I'm going to sign him to uh, work with Sarah. And they can be the first to handle this uh, whole rave overdose deal. I'll call Sarah and give her the good news. Man, is this going to be fun or what? Yeah. like a typical rave overdose. When are these kids going to learn street chemists kill people left and right? Gates, you get the witnesses. Yeah, I got, I got it. this. Thanks. OK, I'll be right over there if you need me. OK. These kids think anything that comes in pill form must be from a pharmacy. Listen, Sparks, will you give me a heads up when you get the toxicology report completed? I will, but just don't expect it to be anytime soon. I've got six other cases already stacked up ahead of you. No, there's no rush. It's a routine overdose. Homicide can handle it. Trust me, you guys will be handling this. You think this was intentional? I do. A bad load typically results in a minor overdose. Brain swelling, dementia. This one looks different. There are signs of other, more lethal chemicals involved. Do you see the rigidity around the mouth and her clenched teeth? That's an indicator of how high the dose was. The toxins flooded her system and caused convulsions and dizziness, which made her pass out. E raises the body's temperature and causes muscle spasms and dehydration, but what it doesn't do is cause severe rigidity in the muscles like she has. It is so sexy when you get all technical like that. I am so sorry for him. We're still teaching him people skills. What did the witnesses say? Just that uh, they saw her dancing with a local dope dealer named Tommy before she died. Okay, Sparks, thank you. No problem. Sparks, good work. Really good work. The notes and the... Okay. There's no one following me. Like, I need to talk to you about what's going down. I don't like you calling. How am I supposed to know that you and that idiot kid of yours are set me up? We're not. Now, where the hell are you? I don't like talking about this kind of stuff on the phone. Tell me something, tough guy. You're sure that you and that kid didn't talk to anyone else about our deal? I'm not that stupid. Why would I jeopardize our safety to turn you guys in? Besides, who would I talk to? Who would you talk to? Are you freaking kidding me? The cops. That's who you talk to. I haven't talked to the cops, Avi. But if you continue to threaten me or my son, I might. Oh. So, uh, you're calling the shots now? I just want what's best for everybody. And that means no more hot lows in the streets. My kid and I could be brought up on murder charges if they find out we're dealing with you. Murder charges, we wouldn't want that now, would we? That's too much of a chance to pressure you and your kid into riding this out.
morning, Seattle. Drive time clock says 7.23 in the a.m. Time to hit the commute to work. Get your day on its way. Yeah. We got one. Another one? Yeah. It looks like it's going to be one of those weeks. All right, swing by and pick me up. And uh, do me a favor. Bring coffee. I got you. It's my job. Patrol responded to a shots fired call and finds three bodies. One of the victims is holding a smartphone and he filmed the whole thing. That's a solid piece of evidence. Yeah? Let's be honest, if the dummy had spent more time running and less time filming, he might still be alive. Well, I'm sure his family would love to hear your thoughts on that. You know, I could arrange for you to do that notification if you like. <laughs> I need to just see this again because I need to see if I can recognize all the players. You see now, this guy here, I know this guy. He's a local Camp Harmony guy. His name is Paul Franco. Hey, you know, where you going, man? I'll grab the team. We'll be in the bullpen. All right. Hey, you know. Remember that guy, Paul Franco, from Harmony? Yeah. Do you have any idea where he might be right now? Is he in trouble or what? No, man, he's just a person of interest. We gotta talk to him. He isn't in jail? Because he didn't come home last night, man. People around here said his wife is going crazy trying to find him. Have you tried talking to his friends and meeting the bush? Yeah, man, they don't know where he is either. Said he's been laying low for a few weeks now. I'm wondering why that is. Said he's been uh, hanging around some rough guys, man, them scary mercenary types. They, uh, they think he might be mixed up with some drug dealing. You, uh, you don't think there's a chance he's dead, do you? I don't know. I mean, I hope not. Hey, Chief, the traffic cams caught the lower half of the shooter's car. We've got a partial plate of David William Sam 7. I'll have auto theft check into that, but it's probably torched by now. Let those guys punch it in the computer and see if they can figure it out. Yeah, right away, boss. Did you have a joint? That yeah, sounds yeah. good. Griffin, you got my chair? All right, let's see here. What's going on with that cocaine we got out of the hotel? Nothing workable yet. So what's with the overdose victim at the nightclub? Where are we at with that? I'm still looking for the local dealer she was dancing with. All right, do me a favor. Don't forget about this kidnapping case. Any downtime you have, I know I'm working you all over time. Anything more from the pole cams? Nothing but a partial shot of the car's plates. But Gates is going to run the partial numbers through the DEA's system. He says he has a friend there. Can you imagine? The DA's got their own Gates. Don't be too hard on him. He might, he might turn out all right. Well, you already got him running scared. He's intimidated by you. Yeah, but you know what? He shouldn't be, because I'm not hard on him. I'm not hard on any of you guys, man. Y'all don't know what hard is. If we give him a chance, he might turn out to be a good cop. Let's see. I can check with parking enforcement and see if they've given out any tickets to a car matching the date and model. All right, what's going on with the uh, cell phone video? We're running it through the FBI's facial recognition program. Hopefully, we'll get a match. Well. Tell we get any results on any of this stuff that's out there. I want you guys to hit the street. All right, thanks, Chief. Hey, I gotta swing by the house real quick. Kathy left me a weird text message, and she's not answering herself. You need me to come with? No. I think it's just that she's pissed at me. All right. Well, I'm sure whatever you did will blow over. Just give me a call after she chews your ass, and we'll link, yeah? Yeah. Good luck. I need it. Hold yourself. You all right? No, I'm not. What's this? Did you plan on telling me you have emphysema? Look, it's manageable. Look, the reason why I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to have to worry about me. Worry? I'm your wife. If you get an attack in the field, you could die. Look, I keep an inhaler with me, I take my meds, and I'm as good as new.
if you heard. No, no, I haven't already told you. Nobody's got a clue where he's at. His wife's freaking out. Tell her to relax. We're gonna find him. His friend said he was real scared last time they saw him. What are you scared about? Nah, we wouldn't tell him. And one more thing, Connie, son. You know Paul's son, Tommy? Yeah. And now he's missing, too. Man, this is all connected. I don't usually waste as much time with people, but uh, I hate leaving loose ends. So, hmm. as you know, I got plenty of guys who can tune you off. Hmm. So once more, where's your idiot son? Patrol has been picking up a lot of these exact same pills lately from the club going crowd. They're all stamped with a spider. I need a toxicology report as soon as possible. They're completely backlogged. Although I'm sure if you called them, they could fix that. I'll talk to Sparks and see if I can expedite it so there's no more kids dying on the street. Okay, boss. Gates and I all work the crowd. Are you running for me? Girl. He's admitted that he gave the girl the ecstasy pills, but he says he didn't know it was a hot load. So, uh, the dancer that died in a cage, you know her? Yeah, Jasmine. We partied together at least a couple times a week. She's dead. Exactly how many pills did you sell that night to her and other folks? Uh, I don't know, a, a handful. A handful. You know, I kind of need a more exact number than a handful because people are dying. Wait, wait, are you, you guys charging me for Jasmine's murder too? Where your daddy? I don't know. Why? Because as soon as the baddie hit the street, your daddy disappeared, and I know him, and he ain't dumb. You know what? I think I've said enough. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna say no more. 
There's another dead kid found at a rave club downtown, male, 20s. That makes three, Tommy. This ain't looking good for you. This could even lead to the death penalty. Got the report back from the samples. So, traces of heroin, cocaine, LSD. It looks to me like somebody's trying to put together a cocktail that's going to be extremely addicting. It's potent stuff. Spark said if it doesn't kill you within the first few doses, it will make you an addict. Wasn't the new guy supposed to bring me some of this? Uh, he's meeting someone about the license plates. Copper informed me. I don't know. I told him you don't like us to meet without a partner present, but he blew me off. He blew you off? Yes. He blew me off. Nice. Hey. Hey. This didn't come from me or my agency. Don't worry, don't get all cloak and dagger on me. Look, I'm serious. If work gets out, then I'm gonna need Stephanie, to... relax, it won't. Okay? All right. <clears throat> this uh this is great. It's the exact same match and uh Model, this is good stuff. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. Information's a two-way street, you know. No, it's a highway, right? What? The information highway. Information superhighway. God, very funny. Look, since I gave you that, how about you giving me the heads up on that big dope seizure that Kane and his team just made? You know, I just got assigned. I, uh, I'd like a couple weeks, maybe settle in, get comfortable. I mean, I just I really want these guys to you know, want me on their team. The only reason why I gave you that was because you were gonna give me something in return. Well, yeah, but uh, how do you know I meant information? I mean, there are other things I have to offer. <laughs> God. Are you serious? Are you really going there? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, of course I'm joking. <laughs> Relax. Right, a joke. Are, do you ever stop being a smartass? Uh, yeah, otherwise I'd be a, a dumbass, right? I'll give you a week. Then I expect some payback. Uh, thanks. Cool. We put Tommy in the cell? Yeah, but uh, he wants to talk to you again. We got another overdose victim over in the West Precinct. This is getting bad, man. This is getting bad. We gotta do something. idea what he was doing out there by himself? No, he said he was trying to get some potential information on the car used in the park murder. You know, whether y'all chose him or not, it's still your partner, and it's still your partner's blood on the ground out there. I mean, I told y'all many times, you're responsible for your partners. You gotta know where he is, what he's doing at all times. If you can't back up your partner and take care of him, you can't be a cop. Why? You 
going to give me a sponge bath? You have a ruptured spleen and broken ribs. I don't think you're going to be doing much of anything. Uh, are you serious? No, I'm fine. I just need a couple days to rest. Don't even think about it. Hey, before that guy turned me into roadkill, uh, I had an envelope. Right, we found that. A satellite photograph of an old building outside of town. Is that associated with the murders in the park? I think so. The partial plate matched up to a car that was surveilled there. Right. Well, it makes sense, a big building off the beaten path. If the ecstasy lab is there, that's probably where they're holding Paul, too. How'd you get the info? Uh, called in a favor from a friend at the DEA. That's all I can say. You know, Kane really jumped our asses about not watching your back, right? He's trying to give you a fair shake, so no more secrets, all right? Look, I appreciate everything that he's done for me. It won't happen again. Yeah, it won't happen again. Hey, Chief, uh, temporary setback. I'll be back in no time. Well, I just got a sit rep from the doc, and he says it's going to be about 30 days, so it won't be that quick. Yeah. I'm a quick healer. The way I look at it, gives you a little bit of time to think. Think about how you can prevent this kind of thing in the future. Toxicology confirms that all the ecstasy from the ODs have the same amounts of cocaine, heroin, and LSD. A few hot loads also show traces of cyanide. Yeah, but they're all chemically uniform, which means they came from the same lab. Right. I was going to try going through uh, the numbers on Gates' phone, but dumbass erased the call log. It's all good. Sarah explained it to me. Gates was trying to cover for a friend down at DEA. All right. Anything in there on the prints? Uh, yeah, actually. The guy Gates killed was a parolee out of Nevada, Frank Wasserman. Weapons charges and sales. And he had prior training with the military. You ready to talk? Yeah. I think I know who took my dad. Who that? These guys from out of town, the ones that sold me to eat. Why do you think they took him? To get to me. Now, I've seen and heard things that they don't want anybody else to find out about. Like what? Once they landed in town, I helped them set up their first lab at one of the properties my dad was managing. After they got set up and running, they started supplying me and the other dealers. Why would they put bad dope on the street? See, the way I figure it, they peppered each bag with hot loads, ones that were lethal. Once word gets out that our supplies are killing people... Then they move in, set up shop, and have a corner on the market. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. How your daddy got mixed up in this? Well, we were both being paid to scout for potential properties for them. He knew it was a dope ring? Not at first. But after that girl died, I had to come clean about what they were really doing. And after that, he really wanted them gone. What made him think he could chase them off himself? He thought that they would run if he threatened to go to the cops. He had them meet in a public place. He figured that it'd be safe for them to talk there. Yeah, it was real safe. Suffice it to say, your daddy grossly underestimated the bad guys on this one. We both did. All right, first things first. Chief has ordered patrol to round up these three dealers. And I don't care what, when, why, how, what y'all have to do. I want them, and I want them bad before somebody else dies. So find them and bring them in. Second thing, we're going to hit this place in a few hours. This is where we believe they're holding Paul. The only thing is we don't have any backup, because we don't know who we can trust right now. What do you mean? Well, what he means is Gates has been compromised on his last meet. I hate to say this, but whether it's in DEA or on our side, we got somebody dirty.
Hey. Hey, baby, I need to tell you something. Yeah, we're just about to hit a pad. I can't really talk right now. It's important. Sure it is, but I can't... No, really... Andre. I need you to hear me out. Go ahead, make it fast. You know how lately I've been kind of riding you? I have to go, Kathy. I can't really do this right now. There's a reason. Kathy, I love you. I have to go. I'm pregnant. Write the lad down. Do it carefully. I want everything intact and moved in the next two hours. What's with the extra body, boss? This here's Cody. He's a friend of mine from SWAT. Good guy. Trust him a lot. Want him in on long gun in case we need long gun support. Juliet, I've worked with you a little bit on spotting and glassing. Why don't you get on some glass and watch out for him? I can do that. For sure. All right, y'all. Let's mount up. All right. Let's move. Okay, hey, gotcha. Arrow, come in. Give us five before you pick them up. We don't want the drivers making calls before we make entry. We got company.
the ground now. Drop Go to the weapon. ground. Drop your weapon. You drop yours. Drop your weapon. Drop it. Put your gun on the ground now. Drop yours. He's dead. Okay. We're walking out of here. Drop your weapon. Get the door. Doors open. You tell your man outside to stand down. Truth of the matter is, is we don't have communication with them. I wish I did, but I don't. So my advice to you is to stay away from the doors and the windows and drop your gun. Drop it! Drop your weapon, put it on the ground, lay face down on the ground. Face down on the ground, face down on the ground now! Oh. How are you holding up? Uh, can't complain. Could have been worse. Did those locals intercept the sedan? Just one of them. The other managed to get away. Thank you. Okay. How's my son? He's good. You know, I'm gonna have to see the judge in the morning and talk to him, but everything's gonna be all right. Hey, boss. Where you at, man? Sure you don't need me for anything? Shouldn't you be home with the wife by now? No, I just thought that. What, you thought I'd need you for something? No, I'm OK. Listen, man, this had your name on it. Is that yours? Huh? Something I need to worry about? Nah. My wife does enough worrying for the both of us. I'm fine, I promise. Anything else I need to know? We're having a kid, King. I just found out. How crazy is that? I told him more reason for you to get back home. If I could turn back the hands of time, I'd spend a lot more time with my wife and kids. Go on. Having a baby. I'm pregnant. And I'm going to raise my child in a secure environment. Whether you realize it or not, Cain and the job consumes every part of you. I love you. until we figure this out. Please, give me a few days before you try and call me, OK? Goodbye, Andre.
weapon. Stand down. I'm a cop. Where's Kane? Drop your weapon. Drop your gun now. Drop your gun now. I mean, you sure you want to be doing this right now? Yeah, I want to be doing this. Drop your gun now. Partner? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I won't keep a secret from you. I just met a guy that I used to work with for a cup of coffee on the east side. No, I just got home. I'm gonna call it a night. to talk to you. Says it can't wait. Yeah. We've got trouble in Seattle. You need to find out what's going on. Yes. Old man didn't see anything. Yeah, nothing on that side of the street either. Tell me something, how does a DA field agent not hear or see someone with a gun getting within point blank range of her? Because she, she knew, knew the, the shooter. shooter. She was a DEA agent. She's the one who met with Gates right before they tried to kill him. She would have been the prime suspect. We gotta do the best we can to find out who killed her because that's gonna probably tell us everything. This is the best part. So tell me you have something for me. It's exactly what you thought. Local cops raided the lab in Seattle. Abby was killed. <laughs> So my nephew is dead, huh? Is there anyone from his crew that can tie us to the dope? Maybe. Gage got away, but the other driver, he knows us, and he was arrested. Did you talk to him? He's in jail. He's a liability. Bail him out, and then kill him. If you can't get to him, you know what to do. Of course. And I want the cop who was responsible for killing my nephew. 
get Gage to do it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I hate this town. Hey. Another visit. Do I need to get a restraining order on you don't there? Don't pretend you don't love the company. The truth is, uh, it's actually kind of nice to see a familiar face. Those nurses and I haven't exactly been uh, seeing eye to eye. It's probably because of your sponge bath fixation. Yeah, that could be it. Kane says he needs some answers. The agent you met with the day you were ambushed. Can't give you a name. Why not? Because I promised her I wouldn't let anyone know she slipped me the intel. This didn't come from me or my agency. I mean, she could lose her job if that got out. Right. Well, I don't think she's worried about that anymore. ago when I was in patrol. Uh, I pulled over a car the DEA was following. Turned out she was the lead agent. We hit it off. And uh, I really liked her. When was she killed? Um, two days ago. That's when they tried to kill me. thought she might have been the one to set you up. No, no, not a chance, not her. She was a good girl, she wouldn't do that to me. I need to get back to the office. Um, Kane's got us working day and night, but my phone is always on if you need to talk. Thanks. Hey, boss. Sheriff sent this over for you. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, man. I ain't got time for this. Kane, before you say anything, I would have preferred to give you the news myself, but I got tied up in a city council meeting. I mean, I'm juggling three homicides as it is. Look, I understand that, and I'm sorry to put the pressure on, but this is the type of thing you and your team need to handle. We're not supposed to be babysitters. Well, you are for this one. Don't let them get lost. Don't let them get robbed. Those people at the Camp Harmony will eat them alive if you're not with them. I mean, don't they have their own people for this? Normally, yeah, but uh, there's been some death threats on his life. City council wants to protect it. The mayor on the other line. I gotta go. Where's that all go? I'm sure you can figure it out. Provide security for a film crew. Agent Zolo. My supervisor sent me down and said you guys needed to speak with me. Yeah, it's about your partner. Well, Stephanie told me she was gonna go meet someone. I asked if she wanted me to come along. She said no. I assumed it was personal business. Was that sort of thing out of the ordinary for her? Not really. I mean, we all have personal lives, right? So is that the last you heard from her? No, she called me that night. Said she'd see me at work the next day. The night Stephanie was killed, she gave these to one of our detectives. What the hell was she thinking? This is classified stuff. It's an ongoing case. It explains why she didn't want me to go with her. Who else is currently working on this case? N no one, just me, now. So does anyone else have access to your investigation or your work files? Just my supervisor, checks and balances, that sort of thing. Hey, man. 
Whoa, I have no beef with you. You will when you get done with this beat, man. <laughs> Looks like he's been stabbed 15, 20 times. This ain't about sending a message. This is about getting him dead so he can't talk. Yeah, it's done. Good. Now what about the cops who were responsible? I'll handle it. I do have an office, you know. Don't forget I've seen it. It ain't much better than this. Funny. So what's with the me? I'm gonna be straight with you, Jack. You got an intel leak. You got somebody on the inside that's gone bad. Wait a minute, Kane. Now, I'm sorry your guy got hurt the other day, but I lost one of my agents, remember? I trust you. I consider you a friend. And I think you know me well enough to know that if I say something, it's probably true. And I'm telling you, you got problems. If you're saying that there's a rat in my unit, let me assure you otherwise. Look, man. Stephanie passed on intel that night to Gates. Because of it, Gates was injured. Your agent got killed. What's that tell you? If there is a rat, and I'm not saying there is, but if there is, I'll find him, I promise you. I'm asking you to let me help you. OK, how would you do that? I would need access. I don't like the sound of that game. What kind of access? I need to know everything that Stephanie was working on. I need to see everything that she saw. What makes you think that my boss would sign off on an external investigation? He's not. You can't tell him it's as simple as that. phone you later with an access code, but don't screw me on this cane. My career ends if anybody above me finds out. Yeah, my word. And I need you to promise me that you will keep me updated every step of the way. We do this together or not at all? Yes, sir. OK. I'll call you later. Go ahead, Jack. I got the access code. All right, man, I'm in. I'll keep you posted. All right. So you see, 60 years ago, when the internment camp was first closed, that area was still thriving, a farmer's dream. But now it's been, it's been completely transformed. It's no longer just Japanese settlers. What we have here, you listening? What we have here is an encampment that's mutated into a low-income settlement. A slum, one that's being targeted for selective enforcement, I'm sure. Selective enforcement? It's got a real liberal sound to it. Are you doing a piece on them or us? I apologize for words, I apologize. <clears throat> you know, no offense, but uh, if you think you're gonna make the government care about these people, you're crazy. Why not? The powers that be created the situation. These people, the good and the bad, are products of the environment that the government created. Perhaps your job is blinding you to that. Is that what you think? That uh, all cops have got a us-against-them mentality? You're a young, white, middle-class cop. 
right? You probably live in a suburban neighborhood miles from the area that you patrol and no doubt are a registered Republican. Am I, am I right? Yeah. That doesn't make you a bad person. It just shows you how polarized this community has become. But do you understand that none of this is interesting to people like me? And if your audience doesn't consist of us young white Republicans, uh, you're not really going to get the advertisers, right? An investigative piece has made us food for the brain, not for advertisers' dollars. Yeah, well, I guess my brain just doesn't uh, eat what your restaurant is serving. Boss is ready for you guys. Let's go. All right. Come on, Matt. Hey, Chief. Uh, this is Savan. He's the guy we're supposed to assist while him and his crew film inside Harmony. And this is my assistant, Matthew. Um, I am doing an investigative piece on the city. Um, I have not locked into the exact angle, but the main focus will revolve around the area known as Camp Harmony. Thank you for the assistance you're providing, Chief Kane. So pleased to meet you. So I'll dedicate myself and at least one other member of my team to do security for y'all while you're in the area. I just appreciate it if you do what we say so that nobody gets hurt. Chief, I'm not saying I'm as experienced as you, but last year, I had two attempts on my life because of a piece I did on organized crime. So, believe me, I do know a thing or two about survival. <laughs> well, I'm sure you do know how to handle yourself, but these people in Camp Harmony, they really don't care about you documenting their plight. Well, that's why we have you, isn't it? All right. Nothing else. We need to get something that ties him to that murder attempt on Gates. Mm -hmm. Is there any other footage? No, we had to pull Juliet off him so she could back up Kane at Camp Harmony. You're kidding me, right? No. Despair on the faces of these people. The victims who realize help will never arrive, and if it does, they might be victimized by the very people they turn to for help. Victimized? Cops are the good guys. You know that, right? Depends what side of the fence you're standing on, young lady. Fact is, that old man that just scurried into the shadows is a victim that has been forced to take the role predator. Predator? That's an old homeless man. The only thing he's hunting are cans and plastic bottles. That's not a good idea. You go poking your head around these old buildings and you're likely to get shot. Sir, didn't you hear what she said? Come on. You gave me your word that this would be taken care of. I thought it would be. How many more men do we have to lose? And for what? Ecstasy? When this is over, and it will be over, we're getting out of Seattle. Yes. I want you on a plane tonight. You'll handle this personally. I want that cop taken care of. Do you understand me? How's Savannah's assistant? Oh, they're shaking up, but okay. Tells me it's not the first time someone's taken shots at him. 
You know, boss, between you and I, I'm not so sure he was the target. I mean, around here, man, they could have been shooting at anybody. Could have been me, could have been anybody. The shooter tossed the gun. ATF's running a trace. All right. What's the deal? Is he still planning on going through with this? Unfortunately, yeah. Thinks it's going to be great publicity for his piece. That's a real Hollywood guy. Well, it's the right ammo. It fits. I would explain why Stephanie would never want for a gun. Right. Zolo would know that he can walk right up on her. There must have been something in that file that Zolo didn't want Gates to see. Y'all have looked through the file thoroughly, right? At least a dozen times. So Zolo was dealing with the bad guys the entire time. And what was the name of the guy who tried to kill Gates? Frank Wasserman. We should check his arrest record. See what makes a guy from the DEA connect with this group. Sarah, see if you can get a hold of somebody from Vegas Metro. They had a parole warrant in the system for a Wasserman. Find out what the original case was for and where he did his time. You got it. Yeah, we'll cross-reference his jobs, friends, family, everything. I'm betting there's a paper trail showing that Zola and Wasserman have a prior relationship. Well, if we could have access to the DEA's case files, but... Yeah, if we did that, we would be fired, burned at the stake, stoned to death. But... Password for the files. Thanks, boss. You've reached the voicemail of Kathy Mason. Please leave a message after the beep. Mason, hey. Chief's rolling out the harmony. It's your turn. Of course. Gates, here's the latest. We're focusing on Stephanie's partner. We're looking for any affiliation with the dope dealer. What's the partner's name? Victor Zolo. By the way, uh, I know it's wrong and it's not PC, but I'm really craving a sponge bath. I just had Nevada State Prison run all the visitors Wasserman had before he was paroled. Let me guess, Zolo paid him a visit. How do you know that? Because I'm smarter than you. Wow. You know you sound just like Radner, which is bad. Anyways, I bet you you don't know why he went to go see him. Because Zolo and Wasserman are cousins. Are you going to be mad if I tell you I already knew that? Are you serious? I just went through both agents' reports, and the relationship is in Stephanie's report, but not Zolo's. So Zolo freaks out when he finds out that Stephanie knows that him and Wasserman are cousins. And then the night Stephanie goes to meet Gates, Zolo has his cousin try to kill them. But he wasn't expecting Gates to get the drop on Wasserman. ATM now. We got him. You know this violates about half a dozen federal laws. Rules went out the window when they tried to kill Gates, right? I hate to rationalize breaking the rules, but yeah, you're right. Juliet. Is it good? It's better than good. You're not going to believe how much this guy has in his account. looking real spooked. What'd you see on his account? A lot. He has more money than any cop I've ever met. Juliet? 
Juliet, are you okay? Juliet! Relax, I'm fine. I need backup over here ASAP. Until Kaney needs to respond to my location. Okay, what happened? We just lost our number one suspect. All right. Matt, they'll do into the night shots. Thank you. Night shots. Just how much time do you think we're going to be spending with you all out here? Chief Kane, I understand, but... Look, man, I got other priorities and all kinds of stuff going on, you know? We were promised by the sheriff that you would be at our disposal. Shall I call him to clarify that? I mean, it's just not safe out here. Yeah. Boss, Agent Zolo's been hit. Juliet's on the scene, but we need you back here ASAP. All right. We're gonna send a uniform to pick you up. Man, I'm on my way. Okay, thanks, boss. Mason, I got a black and white coming out here for me. I'm gonna have to jump in there and get into town for some urgent stuff. Do me a favor and watch Savon. Stay with the children and make sure that the locals don't eat them. <laughs> we'll take care of it, boss. South Harmony's got some beautiful sunsets. You're gonna love it. Brilliant. That'll make for a great transition. Set up nicely for all night shots. Love it. Drop your weapon! Stand down! I'm a cop! Where's Kane? Matt, get the shot. I'm a police officer. You don't want to do this, guy. Don't let them see you. Drop your this gun is now. You got that attachment I sent you? Yeah, I did. That's the bank statement that Zola was holding when he was gunned down. That's a hell of a lot of money for a cop. That's for sure. I ran a check on Zola after Stephanie's murder. I also pulled his bank records. Looks like he was on the drug dealer's payroll. Well, Rimmage probably found out about Zola's cousin Wasserman and got killed for it. But then who was driving the car that killed Zolo? Probably just the dealer's dirt bags tying up loose ends. Why would they kill an active DEA? Man, it just doesn't make sense. Agent would have too much value to them, you know? Like, why are we still discussing this? Of course it was them. Who else could it be? Listen, Kane, this is a serious black eye to my agency. I would appreciate it if you would back off. Just let me close this case out. We gotta put this behind us. Let's go. We got a problem, man. Mason just sent me a text message saying he wants us to meet him at Davis Container Yard. What for? That's what doesn't make sense. Mason's not the kind of guy who would send me a text. He'd call me directly. So, something's going on. You think someone's trying to set you up? If that's the case, Mason's either dead or being used as bait. Gear up and let's get going. Let's go. We're going to die, aren't we? So, so I hope not. Still got a lot of things in my life I want to say and I want to do. <clears throat>
So keep your eye out for booby traps. These guys are highly trained. They're all trained in the military, and they will be heavily armed. You want me to call in some air support? No, because they'll hear that stuff come and disappear into the shadows. Well, what if they burn us first? Nobody's gonna burn us. up inside set up with a clear shot of the doors if he doesn't come alone we need to take everyone down
Mason, room clear. Mm. Okay, boss. Mm. All right, listen to me. Mm. Free the hostages. Take him out exactly the way I came in here. Hero, give me a hand. Get on the wall. Don't move. this again. Get your hands up on the wall. You know, it's a shame you couldn't fight better, man. I'd have to kill your ass. Let's go. Right here. What are we doing back here, Kane? Dirty money, dirty money. Dirty money leaves the trail, man. It's almost impossible to hide it here. My people followed a $250,000 deposit out of Zola's account. Try and guess where it landed, man. What the hell is this about, Kane? You're insinuating that I have it? Yeah, I kind of am. If I were you, I wouldn't bother saying too much. You only gave you up. Said you've been on his payroll for years. We're friends, Kane. You know that's ridiculous. Gates, you remember him, right? You know, I found your name in a visitor's log in Nevada State Prison. You were the one that sent Wasserman to kill Gates. But he messed it up, didn't he? This is crazy. And that forced you to start covering your tracks, padding Zola's account. Make him look guilty. Pull your gun. Give me an excuse. Put your hands up, man. Come on over and get on the car. You know how it works. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You happy to be going home? Not really. Finally made a truce with those nurses, so... Good? Yeah. Look, uh, Sarah, I know I screwed up. I mean, I ignored your advice to always have another team member with me, so... I'm sorry. Kane tells us independent action, whether it's fueled by good intentions or not, can get you killed. 
That's why he's not happy. So, uh, we good, though? Sure, yeah, we're good. For today, at least, but next month when you're back in your uniform. Whoa, you kidding? Next month, uniform? How you feeling, buddy? You look like you're ready to go. Besides, man, I have this wussies, and you ain't no wussy, right? I'm really looking forward to having you come back on full duty. Like Sarah said, in a uniform. No, but Chief, that's crazy. I mean, I'm gonna be out here right away. I'm gonna be okay. You haven't given me a chance to show you what I can do yet. Sarah will give you a ride home. I got somebody I gotta see, so I gotta hurry. Figures. Who this week? Oh, is this one? Oh, man, this girl's stalking me. She's stalking me. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Johnny's been arrested. Our Seattle operation is 